Hello guys and welcome to my 5 useful tips for Imperian Galactic Survival video. My name is Rakuna and I'm Bart. Uh, Rakuna, before we start, why did you bring the Magister in? Are you trying to show off your work? Uh, well, maybe there's a little bit of that. Just to tell you guys, if you ever want to look at my ships, they're available in my workshop. The link is in the description below. Uh, okay, so you're just showing off your stuff now. Uh, no, I actually need it for part of the tutorial. Uh, okay, whatever. So how about we get on with it? Yeah, alright. Uh, tip number one is inertia. When you're flying out in space and have a destination to go, if you see that it's far away, instead of continuously pushing W to move forward, you can just press I. As you can see on the bottom right, the icon changed, saying that the thrusters are not active anymore. That way you can just coast along until you reach your destination. When you press I again, all the thruster will come back to life and will immobilize your ship until you move it forward again. On a planet, you have three different options. Just leaving your bottom thrusters up so you can stay afloat, removing the thrusters completely as you were in space, and by the way, just to tell you, you can't just let your ship drift by removing your inertia in atmosphere. It won't work. Which takes us to tip number two, crew speed. So if you're moving forward and you don't want to hold W, uh, the same thing applies on a planet, but for that, you need to hold control in whichever direction you want to go. For example, control W. As you can see on the right, the little thing just went up to 100% and if I release both buttons now, the ship will just cruise along at that speed. Make it stop, you just need to press any other button. And there you go. Now you can do this to go up into atmosphere by pressing control in space or make it go down as well. Now, for tip number three, we're going to go inside of the Magister, just to take a look. So when you go into the control panel, what you can do is you can set some custom buttons. Like this one here, I want to have my lasers put into this custom button. And this one, I'll have all of the other physical damage, like missiles. Now, to actually set these turrets under each category, what I can do is I could create another group. If I press here, add group, I'm going to write lasers here. There you go like that. Then I scroll down until I find all of my lasers and then I can go add to group, select lasers, and all of the next one after that all I can do is add to last group. So I'm gonna do that for all of my pulse lasers. Now I know this takes a lot of time but you'll get why I'm doing this soon enough. Now, as you can see all my lasers are grouped together here and I can put it under the laser shortcut here. So if I actually turn it off in the main control panel, my lasers won't fire. Now as for the rest of the turrets here, they're all physical damage turret and I can assign them to missiles. The reason why I do this is a lot of these enemies that we're gonna go ahead have shields and there's no use in wasting all of your missiles and artillery when they barely do any damage to the shields. Alright, so I got a Nimaret class destroyer right ahead of me and I'm gonna make sure to use only laser ammunition to take its shield down and then I can activate my turrets. It's a quite a clever way to save a little bit on ammunition. So I just cleared out all of the other ships, all of the other names appearing in the screen by pressing F6, which was pretty much shown in another tutorial. So let's take that sucker on. So as you can see, now I just took down the shields, now I can quickly access my control panel and activate my missiles. Now everything should be firing really soon. And there you go. <laughs> that way, it is a very efficient way of not wasting all of your ammunition in the initial taking down of the shield process. Look at those suckers go, yeah! So this takes us to our next tip. So once I've destroyed the ship, I can actually go outside and collect the resources. Sometimes you find yourself in a sticky situation such as this. So as you can see right now, I, I'd like to go inside, but sometimes when a ship is moving, you can't really move and it makes it really difficult. But there is a trick around that. 
So as you can see, Spinny Spinny Ship is going wild now, and we'll take care of that by exiting the game and going back in. And there you go. It is now immobilized, and I can actually go inside. I know it's a cheaty way, kind of, to be able to go inside of the ship, but you know what? They should fix that little issue, right? They should fix it so we can really go inside, even though the thing is moving. Or just stop making it move. You, you know, one or the others. Elyon, do something about this, please. Okay, Rakuna, so far, awesome tips. Uh, and now I see why you brought the Magister in. Yeah, I know. And there is still one last tip that I have for you. You know those pesky, annoying doors and the noises they make? Especially when there's multiple doors and they all open and close at the same time. Oh, that drives me nuts. Well, there's a way around it. Let's go back to the Magister. All right, so we are inside the Magister and I created a nightmare. Look at this, look at this, let's just go. Let's go, let's do this. Oh my God, oh my God, no, no. Okay, so there is an easy way to fix that so they do not automatically open anymore. You just create a switch, a lever. So if I press P and I go to signal logic, I'm going to give this lever a name, Annoying Door. Now I can leave it. And if I set all of these to Annoying Door, now this this is a signal nightmare as well. So right now I've set all of these, except for this guy apparently, I've set all of these to Annoying Door. Now they will not open automatically anymore, but you can still open them manually which will save your ears and your sanity a little bit of hell. Now, once this is done, if you want, you can just remove this guy. And these guys are still set to the signal, which is not existent anymore. And they will remain manual. So that's how you do it. Oh my god. Thank you, Rakuna. I'll come in handy. Right, I, I know I didn't let you talk, so if you want, I can let you do the outro. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode of 5 Useful Tips for Imperium. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And also, you can always check my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash she slash art is the best in the world. Dude, that page does not exist. And also, if you have anything you would like us to cover, please write them in the comments below. But guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Bart out. Well done. Rakuna out.